Hey everybody, welcome back to the Simple Ground Homestead. I'm uh, trying to record a quick video here to give you an update on what I've been up to and let you all know that I'm still alive and doing well. Um, I just kind of want to show you some of the progress that I've been making too. So uh, I'll try to walk that way while I'm recording. But uh, um, a couple weeks ago, Audrey and I got uh, permission to start building. So we got our permit back and we've been working really hard ever since. Um, I'm not recording the progress so far, like step by step, like I did with the, the first house, you know, the yurt, first part of our place. And the reason is, um, I guess I really have a hard time juggling the camera and stuff, and uh, I kind of wanted to focus on building so I could get this all right. It's kind of a hard thing. So I'm hoping, well, and the other part of it too is what I'm doing here is very traditional. There isn't a lot of... Um, you know, it's very traditional. You can see videos out there that, that do this stuff all the time. So I may not have a lot to share that uh, isn't kind of just boring, normal stuff. I don't know. Maybe that's kind of my own thing. But uh, I'm hoping little updates like this will be sufficient and still show you guys what I'm up to. So uh, anyway, we, <clears throat> we started out, we kind of had to... To clear out some of the bumps and and stuff here we we didn't want to disturb the soil too much that was kind of our hope from the beginning but we found out that we had to move some dirt so we moved we moved quite a bit of earth with the our little tractor our little beaver tractor and then we dug a bunch of footings by hand i'll kind of pan across here all of these footings were we dug by hand and um, had to place rebar in the bottom, so we learned how to tie rebar. I guess we did this with our previous house, but Audrey did a great job. She kind of headed up the rebar project, and, you know, this looks so fantastic, actually. And, um, after the rebar, we've started pouring cement. Got cement in a few holes here but uh, this thing right here is a story of itself and I'm going to kind of tell you about that <laughs> so we found out while we started building that there's a little bit of a, a supply shortage on tools uh, certain tools cement mixers are one of them uh, nailers air nailers or uh, cordless nailers are another and uh, anyway, we looked all over. We had to drive an hour to to find this one at a Harbor Freight. And um, yeah, it's it's just as junky as I was afraid it was going to be. But it was kind of the only one around. It was kind of the only option. So um, it did about four bags of concrete before it broke. <laughs> and we decided, you know, we're not going to deal with that mess again and so next time we run back to a harbor freight we'll take it back and get a refund but in the meantime we've been mixing concrete by hand and yeah that's it's a ton of work but it's also really fulfilling it's kind of a nice I don't know it's one of those things that just feels nice at the end of a hard day's work but I'm not looking forward to it's going to be over 300 bags concrete not looking forward to that part but just one little bite at a time and we'll just keep working at it <laughs> anyway things are things are progressing along fairly well they look pretty great here um, I guess for those of you who are curious we've got just kind of a rectangular addition that's going on it's gonna be about a story and a half you know a, a full story and a knee wall worth uh, upstairs so it's, it's going to double the space we have right now. Might be a little big, but maybe that's a thing for another story, or a story for another day, I guess. And it'll just, 
attach with a little hallway right onto our main structure. And we're just gonna go with that. We're pretty excited about it. And I'll give you little updates as it goes along. I didn't mean for this to be a long video. The wind's kind of blowing and probably making noises in my microphone anyway. So I'll end it here. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you're all doing well with this crazy coronavirus stuff going around. It just doesn't ever seem to die. <laughs> We're definitely feeling it here. It's definitely got a its own fatigue to it. It's kind of a heavy weight to, to think through, but you know, I'm feeling pretty confident that that this will make us a better a better world. Um, humans have this res resiliency that uh, when there's something to fight against, we all kind of rise up together and become better people. So hope that's a positive thing in the end, and I hope you're all doing well. I think about you a lot. Thanks for watching this video, and thanks for taking this journey with me on Simple Ground.